Hi guys, it's David from Motor Motor Press. Guess what? I have two of the most exciting SUVs because they're both truck-based body-on-the-frame SUVs right behind me, which is 2025 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro and also the Land Cruiser, which is the one I own. This is a 2024 uh, first edition version. They're both body-on-frame, both share a similar TNGA-F platform. This is built in Japan, this is built in Texas. So are they more similar or are they more different? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. I actually think that there are a number of advantages to buying the Sequoia, but also there are advantages to buying Land Cruiser. So let me tell you seven things I like better on the Sequoia and also seven things I like better on the Land Cruiser. And you can decide which one is the right one for you. Let's go. Welcome back. Now, some of you guys who have been with me for many years might remember that I used to own the 2022 Tundra TRD Pro and I actually really liked that truck, but I needed an SUV. So at some point I wanted to change to SUV and I did order a Sequoia TRD Pro, but it never came or rather it was delayed many times. So I ended up buying the Lexus GX instead, but I almost bought the Sequoia. So I do have a bit of a heart for the Sequoia TRD Pro because I really like the overall concept behind it. Having said all that, Land Cruiser is very special to me and this is what I have now. And I'm very happy with it. But definitely there are some advantages to Sequoia and there are some advantages to the Land Cruiser. So let me go through all that for you guys today. But the first point and the biggest difference between these two is the powertrain. Right here with the Sequoia, only comes in hybrid, same as Land Cruiser. The engine in the Sequoia is a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6. The same engine that's in Tundra, also same engine that's in the Lexus GX and also the LX. So it's being used in a number of different models. But right here in Sequoia with the hybrid, it has impressive 437 horsepower compared to 326 horsepower in the Land Cruiser. But more than that, this is a V6. That's a turbo four cylinder engine. And wow, what a difference in terms of the feel on the road. This one feels robust. It feels beautiful in terms of engine, almost feels like a V8, sounds like a V8, and he has more power than a V8 that it replaced as well. Tremendous amount of torque as well, which is 583 pound foot of torque. So amazing torque, amazing power, and it really shows when you drive it. I definitely prefer V6 versus four cylinder engine. So that's the first most important difference between the Land Cruiser and the Sequoia. One is a V6, one is a Turbo 4. Right here in the way that this is used for the Land Cruiser, it's actually a good engine in terms of power and torque. So in this application, it is actually quite powerful and it is actually fun to drive and it's got really good low end grunt. But clearly the Turbo 4 doesn't feel like a Turbo V6 and so there is quite a bit of difference in terms of feel. And so that's the first point, which is the fact that the Sequoia does feel better with a twin turbo V6 compared to a turbocharged four cylinder engine in the Land Cruiser. The second reason why the Sequoia is better than Land Cruiser, at least in terms of this aspect, is the fact that uh, Sequoia is quite a bit bigger than Land Cruiser. Now the Land Cruiser is not a small SUV by any means, but the Sequoia is definitely longer and larger overall. So you end up with a lot more space inside. You get a roomier, more airy feel inside. And but especially in the second row of seats, you get quite a bit more space. I don't have all the numbers in front of me, but if you just sit in the front, then sit right behind me in terms of where the seating is. And I can tell right away, there's quite a bit more leg room and also overall headroom as well. So it's roomier for driver, for the passengers. And of course uh, it has seven or eight passenger capacity as well, which is my third point because of the fact that this is a larger SUV, I can get a third row of seat which means that you can configure this as either seven or eight passenger. As far as Land Cruiser is concerned, at least for North American market, it's a five passenger or two row only vehicle. Whereas the Land Cruiser in Asia and other parts of the world can be equipped with a seven passenger configuration because those vehicles don't have hybrid system in it. And therefore it doesn't take up a lot of space in the trunk space, allowing for the third row of seat to be located. But even so, the third row would be pretty tight compared to Sequoia because Sequoia has a lot of space in the back. So the fact that this car is quite a bit roomier than Land Cruiser, well, obviously it's a big benefit. The fourth point is somewhat subjective, but can also be analytical in some way. And that is to do with the interior. Now this is a TRD Pro. And of course Land Cruiser doesn't come in TRD Pro. So it's a little bit hard to compare side by side. But generally speaking, I like this design better. It's got a bit more of a sportier feel to it with a red uh, accent here, red accent here, a TRD symbol and emblem here, even a red in the start button for the engine here. And even though it's a bit bold and a bit in your face like these Toyota logos, 
I kind of like this style because it's more textured, it has more style to it. It makes this vehicle feel more like a truck and makes it look more like a rugged design. Versus the Land Cruiser, which is fine, it's functional and nothing wrong with it. But I do find the Land Cruiser design pretty plain and simple. It doesn't make it look like anything special, even though Land Cruiser, I think, is a special SUV. And a lot of people have commented the same thing, which is the fact that Land Cruiser's interior is somewhat boring and this at least is more exciting uh, but on the more of an analytical side you get a bigger screen so i get a 14 inch display instead of 12.3 inches on the land cruiser i still get 12.3 inches here which is the same as land cruiser uh, but the basic layout also i like it better in terms of the switches uh, thankfully though both vehicles do have button switches so that's not a problem but you get a lot more space here bigger center console Everything else is roomier and feels more airy, as I mentioned earlier. But overall, better design, more functionality in terms of bigger screen. And you know what? Frankly, I just like it better. And as I mentioned earlier, I almost bought the Sequoia TRD Pro because I had a Tundra TRD Pro back in 2022-2023. And then I was going to trade it in to buy the Sequoia TRD Pro. But it just never arrived, so I ended up buying a Lexus GX instead. Uh, so I did almost buy this and in some way I regret that I didn't buy it because overall I just like the feel of this a lot. It feels more like a truck but because it is a truck with an SUV body it feels more robust, it feels tougher, uh, it has a, a different stance from a Land Cruiser. So the Land Cruiser has kind of moved upscale to make it feel more like a, a luxury SUV, kind of upscale SUV versus the Sequoia which retains that traditional truck feel along with this twin truck model the Tundra and I always liked the feel of the Tundra so obviously I like the feel of the Sequoia it just feels tougher and of course the powertrain that we talked about earlier makes a huge difference with the twin turbo v6 engine with the hybrid it's got so much power and torque that uh, it just feels much more robust I, I like the powertrain I like the basic feel of it so that's a very important point so the overall feel in terms of driving is a very important point for me but even for the passenger the ride is better which brings me to the sixth point even though Land Cruiser actually rides quite well it's quite busy over bumpy road and it has a lot of oscillations when you go over um, kind of gravel road and so forth but um, Sequoia feels really planted it feels like a truck yes but it's also more solid feels like a tough truck with a really good stance so I love the way it rides as well and the passengers comment how comfortable it is uh, even if I go over some really tough um, road conditions it stays stable and stays really flat uh, and well managed because of the fact that this has a TRD Pro suspension and that helps a little bit as well because of the Fox suspension setup so the ride is good the powertrain is excellent so in terms of driving character and driving feel yeah, the Sequoia is definitely better than the Land Cruiser. The seventh and the last point is towing capacity. Both Land Cruiser and Sequoia have pretty good towing capacity, but Sequoia obviously much better, almost 50% more than the Land Cruiser at 95, 20 pounds. So almost 10,000 pounds for Sequoia, whereas the Land Cruiser is 6,000 pounds, which is still pretty good. But if you have to tow something big like a boat maybe, then it might not be enough to go with the Land Cruiser. You may have to go with the Sequoia. So that is one advantage. It has a good towing capacity. You can also get uh, large mirrors that sticks out like this one here. They call it the towing mirrors. So you can see the back of your truck much better. And so generally speaking, if you need to tow something, especially something heavy, then Sequoia makes more sense than Land Cruiser. So even though I really like the Sequoia, in fact, if I were to just buy SUV right now and I don't have to worry about garage space and so forth or the price then I like the Sequoia actually better than the 4Runner or the Land Cruiser just because of the overall feel the beautiful engine twin turbo v6 engine with the hybrid is amazing and the ride is good and I just like that truck feel so I really do like the Sequoia and I like it better than the Land Cruiser but the Land Cruiser also has many advantages over the Sequoia so now let me switch gears and tell you seven things that I do like better on the Land Cruiser, then the Sequoia, and you can decide which one's the right one for you. So are there reasons to buy the Land Cruiser versus Sequoia because it's better in some way? Definitely. For example, the Land Cruiser comes with all-wheel drive. In fact, all models have all-wheel drive, whereas the Sequoia has part-time four-wheel drive, which means that most of the time, 
is driven in two wheel drive, then you have to shift into four wheel drive, but it's not full time permanent four wheel drive, which means you cannot drive in four wheel drive mode in dry when you're driving a Sequoia. But of course, with Land Cruisers, it's always all wheel drive and the torque split will shift from front to back depending on the road condition. And that might matter to some of you guys who live in the climate conditions where weather can change dramatically. Like here in Vancouver, sometimes it's wet, sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's slippery, sometimes it's not. And for those conditions, the all-wheel drive is obviously preferred. And that's one advantage of the Land Cruiser versus the Sequoia. Okay, so I've now hopped into the Land Cruiser. And what a difference. First of all, it's smaller, more nimble, it's easier to drive. The second advantage of the Land Cruiser versus the Sequoia is the fact that this feels just a lot better in terms of handling. The Sequoia is more comfortable, I like the truck feel to it, it feels more stable in some ways, but around corners and at highway speeds and so forth, the Land Cruiser will outperform the Sequoia in terms of the handling. The powertrain is still better than the Sequoia, I definitely like the V6 better than the uh, uh, Turbo 4, but the handling is uh, quite a bit of difference between the two. This is nimble, it feels more like a unitized body SUV versus a body on the frame. And it's just an uh, overall sharper feel. And so if you want something that feels nimble and easy to drive, it's not so big, obviously the Land Cruiser is better in that regard than the Sequoia. And the third point is the fact that the Land Cruiser is more fuel efficient than the Sequoia because obviously smaller engine, hybrid and so forth is a 2.4 turbo with a hybrid system and even though the hybrid system is different from what you might find in other Toyota unitized body SUVs like the RAV4 or Highlander it still provides a pretty few efficient uh, overall mileage I'll put the actual numbers on the screen here uh, but both city and highway driving the Land Cruiser has a better fuel efficiency than the Sequoia so if that's important to you and you don't want to buy a um, truck or SUV with a heavy gas bills, then again, Land Cruiser is more advantageous than a Sequoia. The fourth point is that the Land Cruiser overall anyway is definitely cheaper than the Sequoia. Although the price overlap, depending on which models you buy, um, you can save as much as five to $10,000 depending on the trim that you buy. Uh, so if you want to save a little bit of money, obviously Land Cruiser is cheaper than Sequoia. The fifth point might be a little bit controversial because I talk about this a lot, which is manufacturing in the US versus Japan. For all intents and purposes, the quality is similar between the two countries, but the Land Cruiser is built in two factories in Japan. It's either Hamura plant just outside Tokyo or Tahara plant near Nagoya, which is probably the best factory in the world. It just so happened that mine is built in Hamura plant, but many Land Cruisers are also built in Tahara plant. And either way, those two factories are perhaps some of the best factories that Toyota have. So comparing the Sequoia that's built in Texas might be a little bit unfair since these Japanese factories have been around for many years and they've been building super, super high quality cars. So you can tell just by looking at the, the actual gaps and also just the way things line up. It's, you know, something I measured many times about just over three millimeters and maybe 3.2 millimeter here. So I've done this many times already but everything lines up, the paint job is excellent. I mean, the quality of this Land Cruiser is first class, like best in the world. And even though Sequoia's quality is actually really good now and it has improved over the last few years, obviously no match for Land Cruiser that's built in some of the best factories in Japan. So uh, inside and out, the Land Cruiser does have a noticeable difference. Even though in terms of defective rate, the two might be similar because they're both functional and both reliable. Well, this one still looks like it's being built better. The next point is not so much about the buying price, but the resale value. And I think the Land Cruiser will have a better resale value. In fact, it's already proven so far that it does, based on my finding anyways. The Sequoia, for some reason, is not as popular. And because not all people want such a big SUV, it tends to depreciate more. That's always been true, even in the past. So when you compare the buying price between Sequoia and Land Cruiser, the Land Cruiser is cheaper, but in addition, the Land Cruiser has a better resale value and less depreciation. So when you take it over, uh, let's say, three to five years of ownership, the cost of ownership should be lower for Land Cruiser because it's also more fuel efficient and you use less gas as well. The seventh and the final point about the Land Cruiser versus Sequoia is somewhat subjective, and this is to do with uh, styling. Now, I did say that I like the interior better on the Sequoia than Land Cruiser, but when it comes to exterior, by far, I prefer the Land Cruiser styling. Especially in this format, which is the first edition that I purchased, 
for 2024 model year. It's got the round headlights. It's got the beautiful trail dust color, which is way better than the mud bath color on the Sequoia TRD Pro that I have this week. Uh, but also just the styling. It's chiseled. It looks like a Land Cruiser. It looks cool. It looks even better with my aftermarket wheels and tires uh, with the gray top, which almost looks white. Uh, with, with all the off-road equipment, I mean, this gets attention everywhere I go. People stop and ask me, is this a new Land Cruiser? Oh, I love the design, so forth, so forth. So design-wise for exterior, it's beautiful, which is one of the reasons why I think the resale value will be high. People look at it and say, I want that SUV. Compared to Sequoia, which is actually not a bad looking truck at all, and it looks very much like a, a typical Toyota truck, but it looks a little bit heavy and cumbersome and definitely not as good looking as the Land Cruiser, at least from my perspective. I'm curious as to what you think of the styling, of the performance, of the differences between Land Cruiser and the Sequoia. Let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear from you your perspective on the Land Cruiser versus Sequoia, two slightly different SUV built in different factories, different pricing, different size, but they compete somewhat in the same space because they are both uh, kind of flagship Toyota SUVs. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe as well? Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.